everyone. What's that? What am I cooking? I am so glad that you asked. <laughs> I have been craving y'all some dressing and it doesn't make any better that I go into my cooking group. You know, I have to go in there anyway. And I keep seeing all these good looking dressing recipes. Now we all know that my cooking group has some of the most amazing cooks on Facebook, period, hands down, which means y'all are some of the most amazing cooks in the world. So with that being said, it was just time for me to go ahead and make my dressing. Now I ran into a little dilemma because I'm like, okay, I want so many things. I have so many tastes going on. I, I want shrimp, I want ribs, and I want chicken. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a dressing that has all three. Hmm. Now, I don't know if that's creative or greedy, but I tell you one thing, it's going to be good. So, with that being said, we're going to get started. First, I'm going to make my cornbread. You use whichever you want to do for your cornbread. I like this brand personally. Um, they do have a brand, I mean one that isn't sweet. This one does have a hint of sweet to it. But the first thing you want to do is go ahead and make your cornbread, of course. And while that's cooking, we will prepare our meat. So, let's get started. I'm excited. I can't wait to eat it, okay? All right, our cornbread is in the oven, and uh, I bought rib tips so for my meat. I don't know if I mentioned that. So what I'm doing is just find, locating the bone. It's a little small piece of bone in there, and I'm cutting the meat on both sides. So this has no bone, putting it over there, and then I'm just cutting a little area that's left that has the bone. So this is the bone. I'm going to throw it over there, throw the rest of that meat over there. So I'm going to do that for each of my rib tips and then what then i'll come back and show you all what i'm going to do next i'm going to put this meat in the oven i'm just going to season it up the way that i want and then i'm going to throw it on my cookie sheet toss with a little oil throw it on my cookie sheet and let it bake okay all right now my cornbread is done my ribs are halfway done i am cooking them in the oven on 375 for 60 minutes so they are just about there so now, since it doesn't take the chicken long to cook, I'm going to cook it in my skillet along with my peppers and my onions. All right, my chicken is done. I'm sauteing my onions and my peppers. Look at those rib tips. Oh, it's so flavorful too. I had me a bite, you know I did. And I had my cornbread done. Now what I did was I threw my shrimp in the oven on my rib pan since the oven's already on. So once those are done, and I'm, by the time I'm done sauteing my vegetables, the shrimp will be done. We'll take that out, and we're gonna start putting together our dressing. All right, you all, it's time to put the dressing together. I got all of my ingredients ready. I'm excited, everything smells so good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and break up my toast. Now next, I have to break up my cornbread. So you just wanna Break it up and go ahead and add it to your bowl with your breadcrumbs. Next, I'm going to add in my ingredients. So we got our onions and peppers. I got my, my sweet red bell pepper. And I'm going to go ahead and add in my seasonings before I add in my meats. Now, my seasonings, I use some Greek. I got my margarine in there, my sage. You just want to add whatever seasonings it is that you want to put in your dressing. It's your dressing, so you add your seasoning. And then you just want to combine that well before we add in our uh, meats. Looks pretty good, Donna. Can y'all see that? Yum, yum, yummy. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and add in, I got my shrimp. I got my chicken and we have our red our red tips so you just want to combine this well and you want to do this step before you add in uh, whatever you're going to use as your liquid your broth whatever it is you're going to use okay so let's get this combined well now once you have it combined well you can gauge about how much uh, liquid you need. Now I'm using chicken broth so I'm going to add that's about a cup so I'm going to add that and now I'm going to toss mine and see how it is once I toss it all the way through. Alright so as you can see it's wet but not as wet as I want it to be. So I'm going to add 
a little bit more and I'm going to toss that. Now this is good for me. I'm trying to pull it up so you all can see. This is how I want my dressing to be. Okay. So it's not soupy, but you know, it's wet enough. So now we're going to add this into our pan to our um, cast iron skillet. I'll just keep you all on so you can see. I did oil the pan. So you just add that in like that. You all, this smells so amazing. <laughs> I just can't explain to you, honey. I'm going to give y'all a close-up on this one, honey. Mm -mm. My God. All right, just to give you all a close-up before it goes in the oven. Now, I did turn my oven temperature down to 350. So, I'm about to pop it in, y'all, and I'll come back and show you all the finished product once it's done, as well as let you know how long I cooked it for. All right, you all, the dressing is done. Mm-mm-mm. Smells amazing. All right, well, let's to get us a bite, honey. All right, so let's... Let's just dig in so we can see inside of the dressing. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Let me go ahead and get a scoop, honey. It just smells so good. Let me get that shrimp. I want that right there. Let's put that on there. All right, now I'm gonna get some of my gravy. And we're just gonna pour that on like that. And now we're gonna taste the bite. Mm, mm, mm. Woo, hallelujah. I think you wanna shout, honey. I'm excited. I waited for this, honey. I took my time and I put my love into it, so I'm ready. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Y'all, somebody finna be in trouble. Cause this thing full of carbs. I'm about to tear it up. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, I'm about to tear this up. The Lord know I ain't lying. Y'all got to try this now. You got to try that cornbread. You got to try all of it. Y'all, thank you so much for watching. I'm finna to tear it up. Woo! Thank you, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all got to give it a try. Amazing. Make it your own, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. You have a wonderful, blessed day.